I'm just, I'm just tired. <laughs> What? What? I don't understand. Sit. Okay, at least sit okay, like a human. Please. Hello, guys. I have a very camera shy person with me today. I had to force him to just sit here with me. <laughs> like I said, oh, well, okay, first, this is my dad. I know some of you may have seen him in my December vlogathon last year, um, but this is the first time he has been like on camera with me, and he hates it. <laughs> Can you at least say hi? Hi. <laughs> I am not an artist, but I like artistic things. And I don't want to pay for wallpaper because it is so expensive, like crazy expensive. So I had the idea, I was like, oh, I'll just paint something. And I was like, wait, I don't have any type of artistic experience. My dad does. <laughs> it's just a hobby of his that he like loves to paint, loves to do that type of stuff. He has that like artistic touch. And I was like, I'm gonna invite him over and he's gonna come help me because I have no idea how to do anything, <laughs> anything with paint. So, that's it. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it and we're gonna show you guys what we did. Okay, wow. that's it. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so we started with the base color. I chose Agreeable Gray from Sherwin-Williams. If you guys follow me on social media, you know that I am obsessed with this color. It goes with absolutely everything, regardless of like the colors in your home. It's not too dark or light of a gray. It is the perfect shade and I just love it so much. <laughs> Okay, so we have light gray, dark gray, white, and then a sample of like extra, extra dark gray. Hi! Are you Judah? Oh, that one, okay. Show me how you dance. Whoa! So after you have your base, we're going to go in with off the grid, which is a grayish, and just painting that very roughly on the bottom quarter of the wall. You can see here how we're dipping the brush, not coating it or rolling it, just dipping half of it, and that really gives it that random look, which is exactly what you want for marble. like, hey, I need to do it. Of course an artist can do it, but um, can I is the question. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it, trust me. Um, we then went to blend in with the agreeable gray for a gradient look, as you can see here. After that was fully blended, we added white to the tips for a more dramatic ombre look. My dad was all about stepping back from it and looking at it from afar, which actually really helped with what I wanted to paint next, and it really gave me a clear understanding of the whole picture rather than what was just in front of my face. So if you're planning on doing this, I highly suggest taking a step back every once in a while to see the whole picture. loved the way that the wall looked here. It was a subtle statement and I seriously considered stopping here, but y'all know I'm extra, so we kept going. <laughs> we then went back to the bottom of the wall and got a small paintbrush dipped in the darkest shade of paint that we had. And we started making boat strokes, is like the best way that I can put it. Basically, we drew a boat and then feathered out the ends.
As we got to the middle of the wall, we used the boat motions in white. And yes, we used the same brush for all colors, which actually made everything blend together even easier. Okay, now this part is important. After you make your white boat marks, add the darkest shade right underneath it. This creates dimension and gives it a shadow and makes it look so amazing. You could see my excitement here when he started to do it because the painting really started to come together. So just keep repeating those steps all the way up the wall and that is the technique, you guys. Oh my gosh, this was honestly so much easier than I thought it was going to be. The entire time I was timid and I was worried about doing something wrong, but my dad kept reassuring me that I really could not mess it up and to be bold with the paint because I was terrified. <laughs> but this was actually so much fun. And I am just loving how it came out. It looks like marble cloud, just like dreamland. And I'm so excited to show you guys what it looks like now. Oh, 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 oh. bed looking at my pretty wallpaper I mean come on I am beyond to be honest with you you want to know why because I did this for absolutely no money I had all the paint in my garage I had all the paintbrushes I had all the supplies and I had all the father free f-r-e-e -E. <laughs> the crazy thing about this is the messier you are the better it looks which is so weird to me <laughs> I was like so worried about being like perfect and then my dad would come in and he'd be like and I'd be like, ah, but then it looked even better. So um, this has given me a lot of confidence to do other things to my walls. Um, but I did want to mention, I also painted the rest of my walls gray and I painted the baseboards and the door like stark white, like the color of my furniture. Um, so this is episode two of the master bedroom redo. I am far from done. Um, the next one is probably going to be my bed because this like red cherry oak just doesn't match the rest of my things. So <laughs> what am I going to do next? I don't know. I'm really excited to experiment and just do crazy things. If you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me along as I redo my master bedroom. I'm going to be doing more bold things like this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Ah! Okay, I'm going to bed. Good night. Oh!